Hello, YouTubers. 大家好 Welcome to the first episode of Two Wongs Make It Right. I am Something Wong, and I'm his wife, Never Wong. <laughs> <laughs> As a couple, we have our differences, and being interracial, I think it makes it even more interesting. So we're here to talk about those differences, things like food, habits, culture, sex, really anything you can think of. So we're gonna make it personal, fun, and entertaining. So let's start, shall we? Sounds good. So what should we talk about today? I think we should talk about something basic for survival.、Mm, you mean sex? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean food. <laughs>、uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's a good topic.、Uh, maybe we can talk about food that is totally common to you, but feels kind of weird to your partner. Sounds good. Definitely. Yes. So you want to start? Sure. I think I would start with maybe the one of the most infamous items you guys have:、mm. the thousand-year-old egg. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> and I still remember the first time I had this. We were newly dating,、mm-hmm. and you had prepared me a soup, and you had prepared it so nicely, sliced it very carefully. And that was the first time I'd seen that clear green translucent <laughs> egg white, <laughs> the green yolk.、Um, and I, I gave it a shot, and I didn't really know what to think of it at first. I didn't think it was too bad,、mm. but for some reason, over time, I had it a few more times, and I've kind of developed this weird sensitivity to it <laughs> that I can no longer eat thousand-year-old eggs. <laughs> I really don't know what's worse—the color, that weird color, or the fact that it's been in our pantry for the past two years without refrigeration. <laughs> Something's wrong with that. Well, a thousand-year-old egg is kind of like American trinket. You know, it can survive anything. If there's an atomic bomb in China, there're gonna be two things left: thousand-year-old egg and cockroaches. Oh God! Which one will you choose? Can I choose the Twinkie? <laughs> no, there's no such option.、Oh. <laughs> That's a tough one. Are the cockroaches fried? <laughs> Crispy. <laughs> oh boy.、Um, anyway, anything else? Well, I think the other really big famous one is chicken feet. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. And I have to admit, I've been kind of a wimp about this. I have not actually tried chicken feet myself, but I've seen a lot of people eat them. <laughs> We go to dim sum from time to time,、yes. and almost every table has dim sum. They love it. I just see them <laughs> eating their chicken feet, and they come in two two varieties. I、mm-hmm. think the darker fried one,、yes. or the the lighter. Raw one? No,、I mean, there's no raw. <laughs> <laughs> We eat cooked it chicken raw, feet. It's boiled, I guess. <laughs>、um, but yeah, the you know they they come with the claws, right? The,、uh, some of them, yeah. <laughs> it's just too much for me. It's a quiet taste, I guess. You know, it's 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 not the best presentation, but I mean, I grew up with it, and it tastes pretty good. You know, so. I mean, it does taste like feet. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, I think going along those same lines with the feet、mm-hmm. is really the Chinese tend to present the whole animal on the plate. Right. You But, get they're used to seeing that. Yeah, and you know, we had that at our wedding too. I mean, it's all about presentation, you know. Besides, you know, I pay for the whole chicken. You know, <laughs> I want to see the whole thing. I don't want to be scammed to come out with only two pieces of the whole chicken. That's true. <laughs> that is a valid point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and for us Americans, I mean, we pretty much disguise our food to where you can't even tell which animal it's coming from. Exactly. I still remember the story you told me that. You didn't even know shrimp has head <laughs> until the last until what five years ago. I think it's been ten years, but <laughs> that is true. I I had never seen them with those heads, and they're kind of scary looking, to be honest. I don't know if I'm alone on that one. But <laughs> so how have 
probably the, I, I think the weirdest example that I have for that might surprise you actually, because it was the time that you had a pigeon on the plate. <laughs> okay. I remember you were, you were with your parents in Toronto. Yes. At, at a very nice Chinese restaurant. It looked very nice. And I asked you what you were having for dinner, mm -hmm. and you texted me this picture of a pigeon <laughs> on the plate, just, just <laughs> laying there. I was pretty shocked, but the feathers were off, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it was a delicacy, and it tastes pretty good. It's so yummy for my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Um, I think the first thing I can think of is probably uh, mac and cheese. Oh, um, I love mac and cheese. Very weird. I mean, the only thing I associate mac and cheese with is art project. Oh, okay. You know, <laughs> when I was a kid, macaroni is f art supply and not food. Mm. <laughs> so it just, you know, kind of a weird thing for me. Mm, but it's such a comfort food for me. I, I guess grew up eating that. I guess, uh, but I mean, Americans always talk about you know texture. I mean, this fall rises into that category. It's chewy. It's kind of creamy and mm -hmm. just like Cheesy. a blend of meh, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, what else? Um, probably the other thing is the raw stuff. Raw vegetables. Oh, I love raw. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Lots of raw like veggies. Americans eat a lot of, you know, salad and raw mm -hmm. stuff. And, and, I mean, come on, you guys are a civilized country. I mean, that's the best you can come up with. It's like <laughs> raw vegetable with some dressing or dip. Some dip. You, you gotta have dip. You call it cuisine. I mean, for crying out loud, how lazy can you be? Just cook <laughs> it. <laughs> Yeah, such a weird concept. Mm. I mean, because Chinese cook, you know, most of their food, and it's just like, it, it's it's weird. I mean, I I still prefer you know cooked vegetable, even though you know. That's so funny. The raw stuff, you know, I I'm getting used to it. And I used to make that for you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We still have a lot to talk about food, but I think that's it for today. What are your thoughts? Any funny stories that you want to share with us? So write in the comment section or drop us a line at twowongsmir at gmail.com. We would love to hear from you, your feedback, your likes, dislikes, suggestions, and topics you'd like us to discuss. So this concludes today's episode. As Confucius says, once you go wrong, you can't go wrong. <laughs> See you later! 再见